Hi there, I'm Olivia out in Colorado and I wanted to share a little bit about my experience over the last year plus with uh, what I call six running shutdowns. I'm getting to where I am today which is actually three weeks in happily to the return to running program and uh, feeling great. So the first shutdown was actually expected. It was kind of my first experience with Pursuit Athletic Performance and I Got my VGA and I expected to kind of have to not run for a little while. So I figured three to four weeks will be good. I'll be back to running. Resume my season, which was pretty robust. And then, yeah, onward. Well, so to my surprise, then came the second running shutdown, which was in the form of an MRI and uh, subsequent surgery for a torn labrum. So, okay, fine. I accept that. There was nothing that I could do about that except go with it. Then came the third running shutdown, which came in February, five months after my surgery. I kind of had expected as the driven athlete who kind of plans and uh, manages kind of my schedule and how I train and how I, how my, what my body does. I mean, I fig basically kind of figured I was a mind over matter kind of person <laughs> just based on what I do, what I spend my time doing. And uh, to my surprise, I was told five months after surgery that I wasn't ready to run from the surgeon. So, um, okay, fine. I, I kind of mentally decided, all right, I won't run yet, but I'll run in March. So I figured another month would be, I'd be back on track and I'd be training and I'd have a, I'd be able to race in the 2013 season. So then came the fourth running shutdown, which was actually in March. The interesting thing about this one is that it was actually self-imposed. So what changed during that time in the February to March time frame was that I had received in my inbox a blog post from Pursuit Athletic Performance which basically talked about the idea that if you are bored with your strength training program, it's then a sign that you need to rededicate yourself to it. So interestingly enough, that stopped the driven, I know better than my body and I know better than anybody else, athlete in my head and kind of put that person uh, on the back foot and basically said, I need to think about this. And so I did and, and I really took that to heart and I decided that if I really wasn't feeling totally strong and stable that perhaps I did re need to rededicate myself to that effort. So that looked like more of the level one exercises. So at this point I had been doing level one since June of 2012. Granted I had a break for surgery and the PT specific to, to rehab, but I got back to level one as soon as I could. And, and so I was, I was basically repeating the same routine for all of those months. But at this point I had accepted it. So I figured that I would keep doing that and then, and then by the time I went back to my surgeon and got clearance from her that I would be ready to run. So um, did that through the March time frame and then when I went in April to see the surgeon, I finally did get clearance to run and, and I got released from physical therapy and I was, I was sort of like free to do whatever I wanted. And so I did, I ran, went out and ran a half mile and I promptly posted my joy at doing that in the Pursuit Athletic Performance Team forums and then got what was kind of unexpectedly another running shutdown, which was, well, that should be number five, which was from Coach Al basically saying, hey, you know what, that was probably too much too soon and you should really reconsider whether you're ready and maybe you should do another VGA. So I thought about it and first of all, I felt like an idiot because I'm like, gosh, how could I come this far and not and not be sure that I'm doing the right thing. But but I, I thought about it and I thought, you know, what better way to actually just reconfirm what my body's actually doing? Because how do I really know? Um, I, I Again, I was committed to not letting this and the, the, uh, the habit of the athlete drive what my body should really be doing. So I did another VGA and this was kind of getting into the early summer 2013 timeframe and found that while I had gained back a ton of stability and my actually my operated leg looked really good I still had some instability in the kind of mid you know the, the kind of the pelvic region and and so it was advised that I continue doing doing 
the exercise routines, move to level two with a specific focus on advanced clams and moving plank progressions, and then see where I was. So that was now the sixth running shutdown. And what's funny is while I was a little bit frustrated because I wanted to run again, I wasn't mad about it. I no longer felt like I was being cheated because I knew and and really believed in you know the down inside of me that I was doing the right thing and that my body was going to tell me when I was ready. And sure enough, as the kind of the month of June wore on and I went into July, kind of still just focused on these exercises, walking as I could, doing a ton of swimming. I mean, I my swimming was great over the last year because that's all I was doing, doing a ton of swimming, riding my bike and all this stuff. I wasn't running, but I was still active and I was really focused on those exercises. And so lo and behold, in kind of July, I felt strong and something felt different in that really key core area. And I, so I, at that point, I contacted Dr. Strecker and said, hey, I want to just double check the run with, a, with another quick video and let's just see where we are because I feel pretty good and I think I'm ready to run. So sure enough, I got an email from him after reviewing the video that said, that he said, I have great news and I'll never forget how excited I was. I went around telling everybody in the office and uh, and sure enough, I was I was able to proceed and, and gosh darn it, I was really surprised when I saw the actual still images of the video compared to where I was just a few months prior, uh, the strength and, and stability that was in there, um, that was in my body that like, I did this. Um, was incredible, and I, and now I know I'm ready to run. And, and three weeks into return to running, I feel great. I can't imagine having done this any other way. And and I would really just encourage everyone who's going through some kind of seeming speed bumps or seeming complete stalls to your training and your racing program to to not be afraid to open yourself up to the possibility of what can happen when when we focus on kind of that really foundational component of what we need our bodies to do as athletes. Um, it's made a huge difference for me. I'm looking forward to a season again. Sure, certainly it'll start out small and little, but um, I'm signed up for a six day stage trail run next or next August. And while that seems crazy, I'm, I'm really confident that I'm gonna get there because I'm strong and um, I'm ready. So anyway, don't despair and, and you know, be, definitely be open to what you can do and, and really ask yourself, are you doing everything that you can do to ready your body for what you're asking it to do for you? And, you know, if you have questions about that, then maybe it's time to step back and really rededicate to that. So anyway, just wanted to share my story. It's been a long one. It's been frustrating at times and sad at times, but I'm happy. I'm happy now. And, and I know I'm only, I only have great things ahead. So um, hope that the same happens for you. Anyway, thanks for listening and best of luck to everyone. Bye.